a whole month without alcohol. I've done it. Yeah, I have done it. Who'd have thought? I like my wine. You know I like my wine. You may be wondering, Rob, how did you do it? Today, I'm going to tell you, and that is coming right up. So first, I'd like to say welcome or welcome back. Of course, if you're new to this channel, you know what you should be doing. There's a subscribe button there. Click that subscribe button. It's okay, I'll wait. Yeah, have you done it yet? Go on, I'm watching you. All right, okay. And also, don't forget, if you enjoy this video, smash the like button, it all helps. Okay, so the first thing you might be wondering is, Rob, why did you give up alcohol for a month? Now, in case you missed my other videos, which I'll link up here and in the description below, I am doing this for a good cause. It's a foundation called the Dry July Foundation. They raise money for cancer patients. It's a cause very close to my heart as my own daughter did go through cancer three years ago. Pleased to say she is fully recovered now. However, the charities that Dry July supports, she benefited directly from. So it is a great cause. That's the reason I'm doing it. And also, look, to be honest, I was curious. Can I do that? I mean, I'm a regular drinker. So can I actually give up alcohol for a whole month? How am I going to cope with this? Am I going to have withdrawal symptoms? My God, am I an alcoholic? I mean, you know, I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. This is actually not what you think. It's this. See? Yeah, I know. It looks like a bottle of wine. Don't be fooled, guys. This is a bottle of Edenvale Shiraz. And it is non-alcoholic wine. So it's actually wine with the alcohol removed and it's actually got written on the back here 0.0% alcohol. So I'm good to go with this. Mm. It's quite nice actually, but you may wonder if I've finished a month without alcohol, if I've done my challenge, why am I drinking this? I'll be honest with you. Um, I haven't actually finished my challenge yet. It's actually another day to go, but I needed to get this video done. So I'm assuming I will finish the month. So I'm having non-alcoholic wine, but, but why have non-alcoholic wine anyway? What's the point in it? And I think for me, it's the feeling, just the feeling of having wine, really, and, and knowing that it's healthy to drink. So it is, it is quite nice. It doesn't taste like wine to me. It tastes like grape juice, really. So. Anyway, it's okay. Now, where was I? That's right. I gave you the reason why I was doing the Dry July. And actually, there's a whole video on that called The Why Behind Dry July. Please check it out in the links. Now, the question, is, as I said, that I really had for myself was, how am I going to cope? It was, I was curious to know, can I actually go an entire 30 days, sorry, 31 days, without alcohol? And I found over that time it wasn't as difficult as I thought. I did another video about two weeks ago of my at the halfway mark to uh, just a bit of an update to see how I was going. And I wasn't finding it too difficult then. And I must admit, it's probably getting easier as time goes on. And uh, I believe that uh, somebody told me, actually Jaime, Jaime's place, I should link his, uh, should link his channel too. He's a good mate of mine, Jaime, check his channel out. Uh, he told me that uh, it takes 21 days to break a habit. So Jaime said, 21 days to break a habit. So I thought, okay, 21 days. I've broken the habit, I guess. I like this habit though, of at least looking and feeling like I'm drinking. It makes me feel very social. That's, that's the thing with drinking, isn't it? It's a social thing. You, your friends do it and you tend to want to just do it. So it feels right. Except that I don't get a hangover or anything. So back to my question. How was I going to cope with it? Could I do it? I honestly didn't find it too difficult at all. So perhaps, despite my concerns, I'm not an alcoholic? I don't know. I hope not anyway. Uh, as I said, at least I've found it not too difficult. So from that aspect, big tick. Now, the other question, am I going to drink alcohol again after the 31 days? And my answer to that is, well, yes, there'll be occasions, but I certainly hope that it's changed my habits. So I won't be a, a regular drinker where I have to drink every single night like I was doing in the past. And uh, of course, the benefits of that, that's the other thing I wanted to talk about. Because 
apart from the fact that I was doing the Dry July to raise money for a good cause, I'm also doing it out of curiosity. Two reasons. Curious to see if I could do it, that's the first reason, but the other reason was to, I was curious to see how it would affect me, how I would feel at the end of 31 days. And of course, as I said, I did a video two weeks ago to see how I was feeling. At that stage, not that much different. But then again, you can't always see the differences. Now, what I have found, I have lost weight. They say you lose weight. Now, it's not just stopping drinking alcohol. It's also, you know, I, I don't go and binge on junk food or anything either. So with uh, just some regular exercise, uh, balanced diet, and no alcohol, I have lost a few kilos. So I'm, and I'm feeling better. I must admit, I'm actually starting to feel better from, from that weight loss as well. So that's a good thing. Now, some of the other things that go with uh, giving up alcohol some of the benefits are apparently improved sleep I don't know if that's really the case it, it probably is and I think it's one of those unseen things well, I suppose you can't see yourself when you sleep uh, in that it's the type of sleep you get apparently you get a better sleep or more more REM I don't know maybe you can google that if uh, if you're not drinking alcohol in any case I haven't really noticed that much different but I'll, I'll assume that my sleep has improved. I'll go with that. Uh, clearly, I'm not waking up with any hangovers. Mind you, I don't usually wake up with hangovers unless I really, really hit the alcohol a little bit too hard. Then, obviously, you're going to wake up with hangovers. Now, some of the other unseen benefits or health benefits, I should say, of uh, giving up alcohol. Uh, apparently, your blood pressure is reduced. Uh, which of course reduces the risk of uh, cardiovascular disease and heart problems, strokes, etc., etc. I don't know. I haven't measured that, so I'll, I'll just take it that that's okay. That that's come down. Apparently, it does come down. My liver. I can't see my liver. I can't feel my liver. It's uh, it's in there somewhere. Uh, and uh, apparently, the liver is uh, an organ that can repair itself and heal itself. And uh, I've given my liver relief by not drinking alcohol. So that's another big plus and again I'm just going to assume that that's correct because I can't really, can't really feel that you know now one thing I can feel is and this is not a health benefit but I have saved money obviously not buying alcohol not drinking alcohol that saved me money so my bank balance is better off so that's a big thing now I don't know if I started to add that up over the course of a of a year uh, I don't know maybe I could take an overseas holiday or something on that uh, however, I won't be doing that anytime soon with the current COVID situation, of course. So there's there's quite a few benefits, as I said, to uh, to giving up alcohol. The other thing, I believe, uh, my skin. Well, your skin is supposed to improve. Uh, don't know if my skin has improved. Maybe it will. I don't know. Can you be the judge of that? Maybe I should have a look back at some older videos to see if it has improved. Don't know. Uh, cancer risk. We're talking about cancer, of course, because that's what the Dry July Foundation is all about, is supporting people that are going through cancer treatment. Of course, alcohol, there is a cancer risk with alcohol. God knows there's a cancer risk with everything, let's face it. So by not drinking alcohol, I'm reducing my risk of cancer. So there's another, another great uh, health benefit from it as well. There's probably plenty more health benefits and you can go to Dr. Google to find those out. I don't have to tell you all of those. I really wanted to share my own personal experience of it. Uh, that, that was really it in a nutshell. I can do it. I feel better for it. I feel healthier. Do I feel more alert and more creative? Is my brain function better? I don't know. Maybe in time it will. I still feel it's as scattered as ever right now to tell you the truth. So I don't know. Uh, look, uh, this video was not so much about pushing my uh, dry july cause however if you're still here at this point and you are interested in finding out more i will put a link in the description i'd love you to go and check it out and maybe see if i can raise a few more dollars uh, right at the tail end of this challenge because like i said it is an excellent cause now guys that's about it for me i don't think i've got anything more to say except cheers thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe it's free you know it's not like netflix or anything so just do it We'll see you in the next video.